Arabic newspaper, why has the U.S. supported Israel without limit for the past 70 years? We would like to republish the entire article for you to listen to. The link to our article is in the description below the comment section. Many followers of American foreign policy may not realize the reasons for Washington's blind and unlimited support for Israel since its inception 70 years ago. Many experts and academics present theories that analyze and explain this rare support on the map of international relations. Some of them attribute this to the religious connection between Zionism and Protestantism, or to the alliance based on strategic interests between them, or to the role of the lobby and American Jewish groups. Al Jazeera Net's participation in a forum organized by Boston University revealed that there is another, more important dimension that may explain all the previous reasons, and it relates to the level of Israel's popularity in the United States, which exceeds the popularity of the American president. Opinion polls conducted by Gallup on an annual basis since 1975 have revealed that Israel's popularity exceeds the popularity of American presidents, a poll conducted by the foundation during the period from 3 to 18 last February showed that Israel's popularity reached 75%, which is the second highest percentage after the 79% recorded in 1991 after the Gulf War. The percentage of support for Israel among Americans this year is higher than the percentage of American support for President Joe Biden. As the percentage of support for him and his policies reached 53%, compared to 43% opposition, according to a poll conducted by CNN on 1,044 Americans between April 21 and 25 of last year. Some commentators believe that comprehensive support harms American interests at a time when Israel does not care about Washington's interests, some cite what Israel did against the United States, such as the destruction of the destroyer Liberty in the 1960s, the leaking of American military and technological secrets to China, in addition to spying on the American army itself on several occasions, and its refusal to reach Washington's efforts for peace in the Middle East, which harms interests. American, this prompted General David Petraeus, the former commander of U.S. forces in Afghanistan, before the Senate Armed Services Committee, to say that the absolute Arab anger towards the United States caused by the Palestinian issue determined support and the strength of the American partnership with the peoples and governments of the region. And that extremist groups exploit this anger to mobilize support for it, and the continuation of the Arab-Israeli conflict gives Iran great influence in the Arab world, support varied between partisans and religious people, American support for Israel and Palestine varies widely by party affiliation, although Israel has been viewed favorably by a majority of all party groups over the past two decades, although it consistently receives higher ratings from Republicans, in the latest opinion. Poll conducted by Gallup, 85% of Republicans viewed Israel favorably, compared to 77% among independents and 64% among Democrats. Gallup polls revealed that Americans who are more religious in terms of attending church services are likely to be more loyal to Israel, 71% of those who attend religious services expressed their support for Israel and not for the Palestinians, while the percentage among those who do not participate in services was only 49%. The Gallup poll revealed that only 34% of Americans support the need to exert more pressure on the Israelis, as more than three-quarters of Americans believe that. Palestinian-Israeli peace is somewhat or very important to the United States, Republican support for Israel is consistent across all of Gallup's questions to respondents, with 80% of Republicans more sympathetic to Israelis than Palestinians. A strong majority want the United States to put more pressure on the Palestinians in negotiations, and less than half favor the establishment of a Palestinian state, 66% of Democrats view Israel favorably, but two-thirds also support the establishment of a Palestinian state, and less than half of them sympathize more with Israel in the conflict. The possibility of imposing a solution to the conflict, American presidents repeat in their meetings with American Jewish leaders that they will not impose a solution to the conflict, nor will they impose a solution on the Israelis or Palestinians, and they only confirm that their role is to present broad lines for negotiation between the two parties. 
The religious factor represents the most important cornerstone of sources of support for Israel within the United States, and many evangelical groups believe in the necessity of accelerating Israel's complete control over all of the Holy Land of Palestine, believing that this will accelerate the second return of Christ. Walter Russell Mead, a researcher at the Council on Foreign Relations, said during his lecture at the Boston Forum, American Protestant support for the Jews and Israel existed before the Jews set foot in the emerging American state, and before the State of Israel was established. Mead believes that the first religious Protestant Americans believed that they were a chosen people, and that their Christianity was the best and most correct Christianity, and that the establishment of the Jewish state in Israel proves that they are also a chosen people like the Jews, and that God blesses America, and that they are blessed by God and that the success of the Israelis is a success. For Americans Some opposition, before the end of President Barack Obama's rule at the beginning of 2017, Washington reached an agreement with Israel to provide $38 billion to the Israeli army over a period of 10 years, which is money used to directly and indirectly assist in violence against Palestinians carried out by the occupying army. Members of Congress did not object to this agreement, Despite the strength of support for Israel among the public and politicians in the United States, some important voices have made their way to opposition to Israel over the past few years, the reaction of Senator Bernie Sanders and Senator Elizabeth Warren, who opposes Israeli violence and demands that Israeli attacks stop immediately. Was a surprise to many observers. More than 25 House members joined Sanders and Warren's calls. Sanders called for the need for America to stand with the rights of the Palestinians and their lives, just as it supports Israel's right to defend itself. Sanders said in an opinion article published in the New York Times the day before yesterday, that Israel has the right to defend itself is a phrase repeated by Democrats and Republicans alike whenever Israel is subjected to a missile attack from the Gaza Strip. Despite his confirmation of this right to the Israeli government, the American senator asked, but what about the rights of Palestinians? The U.S. Senator believed that Biden has the opportunity to adopt a fair approach and that America must adopt a fairer policy between the two sides of the conflict. Our news on Global TV channel would like to pause here. If you find it interesting, please subscribe to the channel to follow us in the next video. See you soon.